hello, hello, hello. If you're sick of seeing this Elvis shirt, well, too damn bad. <laughs> I now buy clothes that I actually wear and I actually wear them multiple times. I used to buy clothes. Sometimes I would never wear them. I had literal like storage units. Our garage was full. Our playroom now was full of my boxes. I've been selling them all on Poshmark, Trish P88, not sponsored, but we've been selling all my clothes on there. Some brand new, like literally brand new, like dolls kill stuff. Just selling it all on there because it's not even my style anymore, but just really just trying to get rid of it out of my house. So now what I do every, like my, all my summer clothes are now on there. All the ones I wore during my pregnancy are now on my Poshmark. I'm just buying like 10 outfits each season, wearing the shit out of them and then selling them. And then just doing it again the next season, because that's just how I'm going to operate. I want to be a minimalist because as you can see from this, I got to figure all this out too. It's like clothes that I'm like keeping, but like, I probably like will never wear that red Balenciaga shirt back there. Cause it's ugly, but if you like it, buy it on Poshmark, but I don't like it. It's not my style, but it was like. Probably like a thousand dollar shirt because it's like silk or some shit. But I'm hoarding it because it's Balenciaga, but I don't even like it. And that little flower top, that's actually cute. That's Dolce Gabbana. Actually, that's pretty cute. That kind of gives me white lotus vibes. Okay, that one I like. See, that's what I'm saying. And I have like this like Marilyn Monroe replica that I wore for my pregnancy shoot. I have a nude bodysuit that I wore for a shoot that I'll probably never wear again. I'm just a little bit. Let's do my makeup. Today we're doing makeup for my ASMR video. I'm going to be Fiona from a Cinderella story, aka Jennifer Coolidge, aka White Lotus. Like, all of it so we're gonna just let me just get started on my makeup and we'll just like talk but yeah I've been um I've been actually just wearing clothes I buy a concept I used to never be able to find my clothes either because I never had like a proper closet like I used to just like stack shit up in there and like never really have like a closet to find clothes now I have everything like kind of organized and I have like literally two hangers of clothes that I like actually wear and that's pretty cool and I love that for me because um, like I'm actually wearing my clothes so now I don't feel like guilty because this is like a free people shirt and guess what if you like this shirt it'll be on Poshmark in about I don't know three months four months because then the spring will be here and I will get a whole new wardrobe for spring 2023 and yeah I don't know it's a it's a pretty good system I know you might be like that's a waste of money but I usually get the money back from these clothes so like this for my winter wardrobe I probably spent you know three thousand dollars you know between skims free people all of that but like when i sell it like i'll make that back you know on poshmark or whatever i do love my skims i'm probably not selling my skims because those dresses are just everything maybe one day i will but yeah um but i actually do wear this stuff so anyways how are you guys doing so yes today i am doing my makeup to do uh if you guys seen a cinderella story with hillary duff i always wanted to be hillary duff in that movie but now that i'm 34 and um clearly not hillary duff i will be jennifer coolidge who i loved who is just as iconic she is so iconic in all her roles like she was also you know paulette in legally blonde the nail salon tech and i remember even seeing that as a kid like of course i wanted to be Elle woods but paulette was like the comedic relief she was just so funny and so fun and Miss Jennifer Coolidge is just fun in everything she does. So I've been on a kick of hers. She's making this like a big comeback right now in like the world. Um, the first thing I saw her back in was White Lotus. She just won an Emmy for that this year. So good. The first White Lotus. And now we're watching season two. The first White Lotus took place in Maui, which looked so fun to film. And now they're doing it in Italy. And that looks so fun to film. And I'm like, can I just please be White Lotus or Jennifer Coolidge? Because <laughs> she gets all the good roles. She was so good in The Watcher, which that just got picked up for a season two, which I'm so excited about because I love that. Um, I've never seen American Pie. I should probably watch it because I know she's in that too. She's just so good. I just, she's like a character actor. And I just love character actors. I think she's just so good. And I just like, I don't know. She's like the, I prefer everyone who's not the Reese Witherspoon. You know what I mean? She's just like the quirky, I don't know, just over the top like auntie you know and I love that <sighs> I feel like this is oh uh, why it's pretty light you know what I love this foundation I should just get a color down this is Stromboli medium three this is a really good foundation but I could buy just get a color down because it always kind of bothers me that it's just a little too thin but all right <sighs> cute so yes I'm already practicing my Jennifer Coolidge. You're not very pretty and you're not very bright. I'm glad we had this talk. I'm very, very upset right now. 
You can't tell. It's the Botox. <laughs> you know who does a really good one is Ariana Grande. She does such a good impression of her. Um, I, I'm not an impressionist by any means, but, you know, I'll do my best for ASMR because Jennifer Coolidge has a very ASMR um, a voice. Um, so we will... We will do the best, the best I can. <laughs> and that's what's fun about ASMR. It's like you don't have to obviously have to be like spot on or anything like that. Like people just appreciate the effort. <sighs> and then I'm gonna do a Christmas one. I got some Christmas set up going. So where is my concealer? This is not the concealer. Or is it? No, it's ColourPop is the concealer I like. Tarte? Was it shape tape? Mm -mm, that's not the one. <laughs> I hate not knowing where I just like throw things. I should just like organize one day. I'm just so, I just have come to terms with like I'm not an organized person. Like at all. And I, and I kind of like, I can, fun oh, it's literally right in front of me. Love that for me. But I like function with chaos. You know I, mean? I like to be a little organized. Like, you know, I do, but, um, you know what? I probably would benefit just like my closets when they're organized. You know, I can see some, I probably would benefit from organizing my makeup, but I definitely don't wear makeup anymore. I used to do that too. I used to spend like thousands of dollars on makeup. I would literally never wear. So now I just buy makeup that like I'm actually going to wear. And if I don't, I like get rid of it or get it to my mom sister or something like that. But I definitely don't wear it anymore. Because it's just, I can't have that clutter. Especially being a mom, I'm like really all about like decluttering. And once Malibu starts like walking, like obviously we don't want any clutter anywhere. It's been a work in progress, progress ever since I found out that I was pregnant with her. But... I feel like I'm getting better at my makeup. Like, I'm definitely nowhere near, like, makeup artist quality. But I feel like I'm getting better at it. Do you guys ever cry for no reason? I had a little cry today. I'm not going to lie. I don't usually do, but it literally was, like, for no reason. I just kind of had a little bit of a cry. So I feel like I'm, like, a little bit. Sometimes I feel a little overwhelmed. And it only lasts like a couple minutes. It's like okay to feel overwhelmed. I'm not, if I felt more, like okay, but I felt a little overwhelmed for some reason. But like no reason, but some reason. You know what I mean? Like you always are kind of thinking like, you know, whatever. But I felt a little overwhelmed today. So I had a little bit of a cry, which I haven't done in like a, a cry in a while. Um, But, you know, we're back at it. And I love to film. I love, oh, that's what's like so, like I'm, so, I'm I, I can't be thank, thankful enough. Like I truly can't be thankful enough. Um for this this job because like one this is my job like I make money making videos but I like truly love making videos like this feels good to me like getting my makeup done to like or doing my makeup to do like a character which I love to act and perform like for ASMR like that's my job like it's so freaking cool like I'm in like doing a TikTok like I'm like oh I had to do a TikTok after I get my makeup done um I don't know and it's just like fun like it to me this is like relaxing this is like you know therapeutic and it's like my job so like I'm so I'm so lucky because if I had like a little cry and then I had to go to like a job that I like hated or something like that you know and I've done that before where I had to go to a job I didn't like and I've already had a bad day and like that is part of life and like you know what the cool thing about that is like it does make you more appreciative like I've been to like the worst jobs that I've like hated that have been awful and so now I'm just like so appreciative not that you have to go through the worst to be appreciative but you know what I mean um so I like you know I'm just so grateful for this job. That's basically what I'm saying. I'm leaving the note. I'm going to get the lighter shade. What do you think I should do in this background? Like, Moses was so down to help me. He was like, yeah, let's do a cool background for there. But, like, because we painted this wall, actually. This is, we painted this color. I love the champagne gold. Um, But, like, what do I do? Like, I kind of, like, me being the tacky decorator that I am, I, like, want to put pictures of myself. I have, like, that school, like, photo shoot I did earlier this year when I was pregnant that I would love to, like, put pictures of back there. But I don't I should also probably get a tripod. Right now, you guys are on a Kleenex box and just fell over. So sorry about that. Um, and I just put powder on again and not my bronzer. Love that for me. Um, Um, that Megan Trainer song, I Made You Look, is stuck in my 
my head. I can have my Gucci on. Do no 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 Louis Vuitton. Even with my makeup on, I need to. I may, I just haven't done like I, was, I haven't done a TikTok to that sound, and I feel like that sound will like go away soon. I mean, it's so popular right now. It's like the biggest sound, but I'm just saying like sounds come and go so quickly, and I like gotta get on it. So I'm like maybe today I can do the makeup sound. I don't know what I would do because like I'm not a dancer. I'm like, yeah, I could like wear Gucci and then Louis Vuitton, but like I'm, I feel like that's been done. I don't know how to be like original. I don't know how to be original. Um, <laughs> White Lotus is so good. If you guys are not watching it, watch it. I love it. It's so funny. Like I just love that show. Um, besides Jennifer Coolidge, Michael Imperioli is on this season. Um, hold on, let me think real quick what I need for my shadow because I'm doing Fiona from like a 2005 movie. She has like very like shimmers. I want her to feel a little tacky, like a lot of blush and some crazy lip liner. I wish I had a frosty pink. I miss frosty pink. Like, I don't know what would be that shade for me right now, but I guess we'll start with the shadow. This is like a good early 2000s shadow palette. I got it for Pamela Anderson, but we can make it look so tacky for sure. Not that Pam was tacky, never, but but um I don't know how to apply you applied against the dark arts is that correct but you failed to get in obviously <laughs> my whole life is just tiktok sounds really I use this little applicator does anyone ever use these applicators I don't usually but now I am because I just don't know what else so we're gonna just, I have no idea what we're doing, so we're gonna do, oh no, how, how did that happen? Okay. Um. I have no idea, I literally have no idea what I'm doing. Whoa. Okay, I'm so sad now. <laughs> this applicator is so funny. Like, how, how would you ever use this for real? Anyways, I never knew Michael Imperioli. Like, he looked familiar, but I think he's from, like, Sopranos. I think that was, like, his big show. I never watched Sopranos. That's my flex. Honestly, it's not even anything. It's just, like, I just, like, stuff about, like, the, like, the East Coast. I was gonna say Mafia, which is kind of, like, true, true, but, like, I don't, you know, stuff about the East Coast, and, like, the I just never really, like, I can't relate to it. You know what I mean? Kind of like Friends. Even Friends. It was, like, it took place in New York. I was just, like, I don't know. And I like New York, but, I mean, I just go for, like, Broadway and like pasta I don't know anything else about New York really but I like New York I just I don't I've never gotten into New York shows I never watched the panels although I just saw something because Josh Holloway the guy who plays um Sawyer on Lost just posted that Lost was like ranked um it was ranked like number 35 of the greatest show of all time so I was like well, what's number one like and in my head I was thinking oh friends might get ranked as that or like Seinfeld because everyone like hypes those shows up um, or Game of Thrones, but it wasn't even, like, what was number one? It was something so random. Oh, I think it was Sopranos. I think that's where I was going with it. Oh my God. I think it was Sopranos. <laughs> Loopy, a little, okay. Um, yeah. And I was like, well, that's like, but I know people say like the ending is so good. I watched the ending without having any context, like what the show is really about or knowing any of the characters, which, um, is kind of weird. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I did that, but do I just put this here? this a vibe I don't know putting like the lower okay I don't know if that's cute should I just like not blend it that'd be like really early to all just not blending the shadow I'm gonna put the darker one Um, anyways, the guy from Sopranos, Michael Imperioli, I looked his name because I always look up actors that I like in the movies. He's so good. He's so good, um, in this show. I've only watched two episodes, three episodes. So freaking good. Um, the main couples too, the four main couples are really good. All the Italian actors are really good in it. Um, but I like, I like his story. I'm in, I'm excited to see where the storyline goes. Um... Because they show previews and like looks kind of crazy. But we're also watching from scratch. I keep talking about the same thing in all the videos because like TVs consumes our life. Oh, it's a double one. Okay. Um, ever since I got pregnant, we really started watching a lot of TV shows and I love it. 
when I was single, I never watched TV. Like I never watched shows or anything. I would just watch like clips online from like 90 Day Fiance and stuff. But I never like watched TV shows. And like, I don't know, like I said, since we got pregnant, we got really hooked on like watching shows. We started with like old shows like Desperate Housewives. And then we, you know, like Lost. And then we started seeing like, oh yeah, let's look at the Hulu shows, Netflix shows, Peacock, Tubi, all of the above. Um, and now we're really into shows and I can see my life. And I always look forward to the end of the day. Like I really do feel like just such a normal person and I love it. I think for so long in my life, I was just chasing something like just trying to do like the most and chasing like dreams that like never came true for me. And now I'm just like so content. Like this is the dream. This is like, I'm making money. I'm happy. I'm creative. Like I'm my own boss. Like this is the dream, right? So I was like, okay, now I'm content with it. And like, but what I look forward to then tonight is like making dinner or ordering food and like watching our TV shows and giving my daughter a bath and like going to bed together. Like, it's just so like, it's the dream, right? And I was here, I am like searching, like, just, you know, just doing the most, like spending money on music videos to like get noticed. Maybe I'll be on Broadway, never came about. Uh, maybe I'll go on auditions and try to get TV shows, like never came about. Like always just wanting bigger and better. And look, I'm not saying like those opportunities are not going to happen. I think they will happen for me. Like call me crazy. Someone's going to see an ASMR video and be like that girl. You know what I mean? Like, I, like it's real, right? Um, But, you know, I'm so happy where life is right now. So I'm just kind of like enjoying, you know, where I'm at now. And just the simple things like watching TV at night and cooking dinner and looking forward to our favorite shows. Because we have a lot of shows in our rotation right now. Um, and the two being right now is White Lotus and From Scratch. Like, those are the ones. Like, I've been saving From Scratch. Like, you can binge it because I think all the episodes are up. But I've been saving because I love it so much. Moses doesn't, like, necessarily love that kind of show. But he's been watching it with me because he's wonderful. But usually we agree on the same shows. He's just, like, that's, like, not his for me. But it's my favorite. We, we do it as a priority. Like, I, like, love. But we've been watching The Cleaning Lady because my Naveen Andrews is on that show. The show itself is, like, whatever. But... Naveen Andrews is like my favorite actor of all time right now. I, should put, I guess I should definitely put some silver in the eyebrow arch. Um, we've been watching Magic with the Stars with Chris Angel, which I love Chris. He's a friend of mine. And I was actually supposed to go to the opening of his show in Vegas. But I just found out I was pregnant. I was so sick. I had injured my knee. This was like in April of this year. So I like couldn't go. But part of me feels like if I wasn't pregnant this year, like maybe he would have asked me to be on the show. I would. That's what I like to think. Because he's like um, the host. I forget. Eddie Griffin is the host. Lonnie Love is a judge with him. And um, Lance Burton is the other judge with him. And I'm like, God. And it's like all these like celebrities, you know, they get to like, if I'm here, I'm like, he'll ask me. Probably not. I'm probably not a celebrity, but they get to like learn his magic tricks and perform it like at the Chris Angel stage, which is like so cool. And so we've been watching that. Donnie Asmund's supposed to be on in a couple episodes. And I love so much. You know what? I'm not going to, I feel like the brows weren't super filled in, but I'm going to anyways. And I'm going to have to do eyeliner. I get so nervous doing eyeliner. I did it last week on camera on my ASMR channel. I feel like I'm too nervous. Oh, you know what? Should I just try? Let's try to do it. Okay. I'm so nervous to run on camera. Okay. See, I messed it up. Oh. So quiet in here. I used to think, like, no one could notice when you mess up eyeliner. And then I saw, like, someone on TikTok, like, was really bad eyeliner. And I was like, oh, my God, that's probably what I look like when I mess up my eyeliner. But it's not good or straight. I just need to relax the eye. Oh, I can't relax my eye. You see how I tighten it up? Any ideas on how to like not get it wrinkled like that? It's so weird. I think I just get nervous. Let me know if there's any ideas because that looks, you know. Oh, she really had bottom eyeliner. I guess I should. I can lay that, whatever. Um, should I sharpen it? Oh, here's a sharpener. I was like, do I have a sharpener? Let's 
you bring it in. Oh, you kind of messed it up down here to do with it. Oh, why? Why did I do that? Because then I feel like now I gotta like thicken out the rest to like overcompensate. I was trying to tight line and I did not tight line. It makes your eyes look so little when you do both. I haven't done both like in a long time. I'm gonna do a little brows, I guess. But yeah, we're watching Reboot on Hulu, which is like so good. It's the Rachel Bloom, Keegan Michael Key um show it also has johnny knoxville um paul riser judy greer it's like a really good show um it's like a hulu it's like so funny like it's like about a sitcom getting rebooted i was like oh it looks so fun so it's like behind the it's like behind the scenes of a fake sitcom um we like that one what other ones have we been watching we love married at first sight we just finished the san diego season Excited for the new season to start in January. We love Love is Blind. That one I binge like on every Wednesday. It's over now, but like that was so good. Um, what else do we watch? Like there's a lot of shows actually that pop up. Kardashians, love the Kardashians on Hulu. So we watch a pretty good amount of the TV. Um, but we're still waiting for, oh, there's a new Chip and Dale series coming to Hulu. I want to start watching Lopez versus Lopez. Uh, I haven't, um, I haven't watched it yet, but I follow Maya and Lopez on, uh, social media. I don't know which ones these go on. Um, and I was kind of like followed her whole like process to get, um, Lopez versus Lopez on the air. And like, you know, from when they shot the pilot to like hoping like NBC calls her and, or like gets picked up and it got picked up and it's like airing. And I think that's so cool. Um, I don't know her like personally, we, I've DM, we've DM'd a couple times, um, and I just think it's like really cool like she, you know like how cool of a dream because like I watched the George Lopez show when I was a kid like my wife and kids um George Lopez show like all those shows on ABC like we watched and I love that they kind of are bringing that back a little bit the sitcom that's kind of why I like reboot too because it's kind of bringing back like the sitcom format without it being a sitcom because I love I love I love sitcoms I used to watch them all the time and like even earlier it was like step by step and you know obviously full house family matters like everybody um watch those shows but you know everything became like a mini series which we love mini series too no hate to that but I just feel like bringing back the sitcom and kind of that style was like it's like really cool and I'm so happy for her because I was like you know again like it's so crazy how you can like be happy for someone you don't know which I think is like you guys get it like right you're watching like me and you like, don't know me but I think just like watching people you know and like being like wow that's so cool I kind of feel this way, like, about, like, Logan Paul. Like, call me crazy. Like, I, like, don't really care. Like, I don't know anything about Logan Paul, Logan Paul either, right? Like, I didn't, you know, for a long time. And I did Impulsive, so I met him, like, once. And he was he was really nice. Like, what you know, whatever. Um, and I met Jake, too. And Jake was really nice, too. So, I, would, I don't know if they've always gotten a bad rap. I don't know if they were actually, like, bad or destructive or whatever. And people just didn't like them. Or if they just grew up. But, like, they've had a, such a big, um like, comeback, glow up, career change. And it's really cool to see. Um, Logan especially, because I don't follow Jake too much. Oh my god, my hand is so dry, sorry. Oh no. Oh, I hate when I do that. Okay, come on. This one's always so hard and my hand is so dry and cracked. Let me know if there's any good hand lotions out there for real, because like my hands get so dry in the winter. Oh man, I hate when I do this. I always get like I love black eyeliner glue or eye eyeshadow eyelash glue. But if you miss, you're so like screwed. But I feel like oh my god, my hand is just like so right there, isn't it? But, like, Logan, when I see his clips from, like, the WWE and shit, oh, my God, like, that he is so freaking athletic. 
but he is like just taken over with his prime, with his impulsive, with everything. Like he really has made such a huge like comeback, turnaround, all of the above. Like people on his side, like I don't think about his cancellation, right? Like the thing he got canceled for. Like I'm not like trying to like diminish it or say it's like not a big deal, but I think in the grand scheme of what things people should be canceled for, you know, like racism, homophobia, that kind of stuff. It's like what he did was just kind of like stupid and like a mistake and like people like really came for him but he, he you know he triumphed he went through and I feel like Jake used to be like a little more problematic than Logan from what I remember I don't know again at this time I wasn't really following either of them but I just remember Jake Paul being like everyone's like oh my god the team 10 thing and him causing a ruckus in his neighborhood at the time and his neighbors being like upset and like I just remember the reporter coming to his house to report on team 10 and he did that like, what are those <laughs> for his shoes or something? You remember? I don't know. That time my life was really weird. So I wasn't like really paying attention to much because I was going through a lot of shit. And I'm just being in La La Land. But um, it's cool to see. Wow, eyelashes do make such a difference. I always want to skip eyelashes because I freaking hate putting them on. But damn, they do make such a difference. And I probably should put a little more silver in there. God, my hand looks like just so bad. Sorry. Um, but yeah, Logan as a wrestler is like insane, like so talented, just so athletic. I'm just like blown away by it. It's so funny. I used to always want to be a WWE wrestler, <laughs> but there's just no way in hell. I'm like watching everything he does. I'm like, nope, not me. I'm just not athletic, but I thought it'd be fun to be one. That might be my like fantasy job in another life if I was athletic like a WWE wrestler no did I do that again damn 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 why love that for me love that for me I did it on both sides at least I'm consistent At least I'm consistent because I did it on both sides. Yeah, I got my shirt on. Yeah, I got my Louis Vuitton. It's getting so dark too. That's the other thing. It's getting dark so fast. So it's like I'm almost trying to like beat the clock. So I used to start late anyways, but it's like now it's like, luckily like my ASMR, I have like, it's kind of like a, not a studio. It's literally my walk-in closet, but like I have studio lighting so it can be like midnight and I can film and it'll still look the same. So like, that's good, but okay. This one's just really up. Oh, why does that happen? This one's so up and this one's like just down. Okay. I don't know. That doesn't work. See, now I kind of messed up my liner. Mm. Okay, sorry. Close up. Scary. Sorry. Jump scare warning next time. Even with the middle. Oh, it's kind of like messed up. Did I just like bring this one down, didn't I? Maybe I'll push both of them up with mascara in a minute. But we can always do more silver here. Okay. Okay. Vibes, 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 vibes all day. I know I put blue underneath. Was it this? Try and put a little more of this blue underneath. I made you look. Do 
You're like a stepmom trying to ruin your life. Because that's the vibes. What the heck? I don't know, guys. I think I got some shadow in my eye. Uh, I don't know what I just did, but... Okay, and then now the question is, is, do I do a little liner to even it out, or do I just let it be? You know what I mean? Okay. I don't know how that looks, but... I don't know what I just did. Hopefully that didn't make it worse. I don't think it made it any better either. I don't know. Sometimes when making something better, you make it worse. I need to just like let it be. Okay. The real thing will be the lip. I guess I could put a little bronzer on, but the lip is going to be, let's see. I could wear my Louis Vuitton and you don't know. Oh God, I love makeup. Makeup is so fun. I wish I was good at it. I could do makeup for a living if I was like talented at it, but I am not. I'm okay at it. I'm just not talented to be a makeup artist. We're being realistic over here. We're being realistic. I always want to use this peachy DR, but I think I'll just use this one again because you know what? This one actually might be more tacky. This one has like glitter and shimmer to it. So, you know, why not? Okay, boom, 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 boom. This is actually like kind of pretty, kind of feeling it. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna do my hair. It's gonna be a whole thing. It's gonna be a whole thing. I have water, I forgot to straighten that. I have a pink fuzzy jacket too that's gonna look just like hers in the movie. I'm super excited about it. Super stoked. All right, so now I gotta find a lip liner. Frosty color. Too Faced used to make these crazy lip glosses like back in like 2003. They would be like swirls on top. And there was this pink frosty one that was so pretty. I can't think of the name of it right now, but it was so pretty. It was like the perfect color ever. I think Pamela Anderson probably promoted it. That's probably how I knew about it. I wish they made that again. Does anyone know that? It's, God, it's like around the time I talked to you. It's like a frosty pink. It looks like pink frosting. It came in like a hourglass tube. The top was black and the black had like spirals. And the girl, the Two-Faced girl used to be so cute. She'd have a big ponytail. Like, it was such a cute logo. I'm going to have to look that up now because I loved it. I can't get over how dry my hands are. Fun fact about me, I hate hand lotion. But I need it because, yeah. Okay, what are we going to put on for lip liner, y'all? What is this one? This is Lip Liner Everlasting Lolita. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Sometimes my lip liner can look a little mustachey, <laughs> like right now. I guess it doesn't need to be like exactly like her makeup. She had a really pretty purple liner on her um.
in the movie. Okay, not a purple liner and not frosty. What's well, gonna be frosty? Here's a lip gloss, per. Should we just see what it looks like, just gloss? That'd be, it's gonna look so crazy, but let's see. Oh, okay. I think this is giving early 2000s. This is kind of looking a little like it actually, let's see. Kind of not mad at this look. Kind of not mad at him. Okay. So I think that, that <laughs> I love this makeup. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of makeup is kind of everything. Okay. So let's get ready to do this hair. This hair looks good like this, but this is not her kind of hair. I don't want to even strain it because I like the texture in it, but not the look Trish we are committed to the role plays she actually has really really blonde hair you know I'm so thankful and grateful to have like hair again but the problem is is brushing it I never had to brush my hair before because I had none so it was like not even a question of like having to brush it but you know, like having to brush my hair because it gets tangly So, let's figure out the vibes. Mm -hmm. This is not a vibe, but you know, I think I'm just going to straighten it a little. I think that's all I need to do. Hers was like pin straight in the movie. She had pin straight blonde hair. But again, we're not going for the exact replica. I'll probably just title this ASMR. It probably won't even be like Jennifer Coolidge or Cinderella story reference. It'll be like those who know will know, will get it, but maybe like evil stepmom ruin like does your makeup ugly or something. I don't know. Something like that. People always ask in my live chats because I always premiere my videos and I always do live chats with them. They always ask like, oh, is it scripted? I'm like, no, I just like come up like with the storyline and concept on the spot. Like, I don't even think about it too much. Like I'll watch a couple clips before I film of like the characters to get, get the vibe. Um, but then I kind of just go and just, you know, think of the story as I go. So. Do you guys like these get ready with me? Let me know. I never know what I'm really doing, so but if you like them, let me know. Ow. This channel is like such a free for all <laughs> that I kind of love it. Like it changes so much. I guess it's better than like not changing at all. If you keep your content the same, like people get bored. I'd get bored with my content if I kept it the same. I like the change up. I like just, what's it gonna be this week? Okay. Oh my God, bothering me is these front pieces. Like, I want them to be straight, but they look so drab. They look so sad. I feel like they need to be more straight. <sighs> Flat iron is warm. Okay. Is that better? Are we more... Are we more feeling the vibe? All right, now I just need some oil on this hair and change into my pink outfit. I never wanted to tell you this, but you're not very pretty and you're not very bright. I'm so glad we had this talk. Is that close? I don't know. All right, we got our Orbe. 
this stuff I feel does make such a difference. So we're gonna try and put a little, they say you can put this on your skin actually. Let's see if it picks up any area. Let's see here. So I could just end up putting this into my skin. Okay, got a phone call. <laughs> I'm telling you today is such a weird day. Today was like, anyways, I'm trying to block everything out. Part of my meditation process is to not let your thoughts control you. So, you know, thoughts come in and out. I let them pass through. Deal with it tomorrow. So, all right, let's go get, they say you can use this on your skin. Okay, we'll just rub this in. So, let's get the other off. Look at the bright side, Sam. You'll always have a job at the diner. <laughs> Do you love this? This is actually a jacket I had made to look like a Jessica Simpson jacket, but it kind of goes really perfect for this role play. So that is going to do it for me if you guys want to see the final product of this role play of this asmr i just made an asmr channel to show you asmr check it out i'm kind of feeling this vibe i am very very upset right now <laughs> practicing all right thanks guys for getting ready with me this was a lot of fun and yeah if you like these videos thumbs up for more give me suggestions for the background what i should do and what i should do with all these clothes because I probably should just get rid of all of them. But I can hang on to them for some strange reason. Alright guys, see you in the next video. Bye!